Hey, I can admit when I'm wrong, and this sneaker, it actually looks really good in person. Let's talk about it. What's good? What's cracking? What's admin? It's your boy Moves the Alpha, and today I am back to do like a first look slash review on the new Yeezy 350 V2. I think they're calling it like the steel gray or something like that. But yes, I actually did not pick this up for myself. I picked this up for my lady. She got these in a size six. Um, we had previously been buying her Yeezys in a five and a half wide. And man, them joints is stupid tight. We didn't know to go a half size up because I really wasn't like riding the Yeezy way for a long time. But yo, yes, we really here to take a first look at these. And I'm not gonna lie. Was not a big fan of these when I first saw them online. Wasn't because Kanye made the video, it wasn't because the hype online. I just wasn't feeling the colorway until they showed up two days ago. Man, I'm telling you, I looked at this sneaker and I'm like, it's actually kind of decent. Like maybe I should swoop back in and you know what I'm saying, grab you for my size. But no, really, I mean, I really think it's a it's a nice shoe. This looks super comfy. I can see myself wearing a lot of grays. Like I wear gray a lot. Gray, black, white, you know, monochrome. I don't really be doing too too much but yeah i'm going to talk a little bit about this sneaker today i mean even an easy drop that happened today um but yeah let's tap into it a little bit got the sneaks yo these look really good in person i'm not gonna lie i don't know what it is that i really like about it i mean i think it's just a really cool like just a neutral color sneaker like y'all can see it right there like the back hits. I mean, I like the way that the, the three stripes are inside of there. Like, don't get me wrong, man. Everybody's saying, like, if Yeezy didn't wear them, if Yeezy didn't wear them. Bro, I really do not care what that man wore we not did not wear. I like the sneakers that I like. And I really, I really originally, when I, um, you know, saw the first pictures of it, I'm like, I don't really know about it. What I will say turned me off about this sneaker is the $230 price tag for gray screw sizes. Not even a men's. Y'all paid i think after taxes for her sneaker this is a youth slash woman size sneaker but i paid 248.90 so 250 for this sneaker um and i don't know what adidas got going on over there i don't know if this is like a cash grab they trying to get off on every easy they can right now why they why they had a chance to but yo i'm really not feeling them 230 in us on grade school women's size sneakers like if that was a men's size all right we get it give or take like that's just what we have to deal with when we wear men's sneakers but for a women's and a kid shoe come on adidas you know you wrong for that you know you wrong for that get it together like get it together yeah but no for real though i really am i'm feeling this sneaker like i said i like that they even have like a little vent on the inside it's gonna keep the feet cool when you walk inside of them i have these um I have these 350, I had the V2, I bought these fours as well, so I have these, and I'm telling you, I bought this in an eight and a half, I went true to size on this, and that shoe is mad uncomfortable, I'm not gonna even cap, everybody always be saying like, yo, Yeezys is the most comfortable sneakers, like, they was built like that, yo, every time I wear them, I'm telling you, if I have them on for more than 30, 45 minutes, yo, that shoe needs to come off, like I said, I wasn't big into Yeezys before, I think I had like the Zebras back in college when they first released, like the original zebra release but you yeah, know i didn't know that i needed to be a half size up so i did buy those in eight and a half and i'm not gonna lie those are sitting most days in my closet i don't even think about wearing it if i know i have to have my shoes for more than like two hours just because it's just not comfortable i don't know if i need to stretch it out a little bit more but we're not even here to talk about that today. maybe i'll get some more pairs in a size nine for myself but yes quick video um, the steel grays, um, like I said, I really do like it. I'm going to see if, you know, maybe they go on sale. They are still sitting like to this day. Today is the 7th. Um, I'm going to see if they're still sitting there maybe next week because I did buy the Fruity Pebble LeBron today and that was another 250. Damn, what is Nike doing? Adidas, Nike, yo, help my pocket. Stop with these crazy prices. But yes, I did go back and grab a grill today. The um, LeBron James, the fours, the Fruity Pebbles. I'm gonna put my got them right over here, somewhere like that. But yes, I did scoop those today. Got these for the wifey last week. I ended up getting those NMDs that y'all saw last week um, when I bought these. They showed up a couple days before. But yeah, man, I think this is a really good sneaker. I am thinking about maybe myself picking this up because um, I don't think I have any other sneakers that I'm really looking forward to in the next couple of weeks. 
I was looking at those dusted clays, but once again, $200 for a pair of ones. Not really feeling that. Maybe wait to see if they're going to sell. If not, then I'll just have to find something else to wear my Cleveland Browns jersey next year. But yes, this is the Steel Gray Yeezy 350 V2. Nice pull tab. It's a clean shoe. I'm really feeling it. And that's just my honest opinion after looking at the sneaker. I was wrong. I'm just going to say it. I was wrong. Before I get out of here, I want to say thank you to everybody. Once again, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Thank you for following me on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. TikTok, Facebook, all the places that I've been posting my shorts, my videos, interacting with people, meeting good people in the city. Yo, I genuinely, genuinely appreciate you. Yo, keep supporting the boy. Like I say, the goal here, man, we're going to keep growing this. Let's get to 500 subscribers. We're trying to monetize this channel. We're trying to take this through the moon. Like I said, I would be doing this no matter what. You know, I think just being able to put it on camera talk to you guys about some of the things that I like, what I don't like, some of the stuff that I'm picking up. It's just a really cool hobby to have. Like I said, I still have a full-time job outside of this, but, you know, coming home some days, uh, you know, open the packages that I have, talk to you guys, edit the videos, learn some new trades and some skills on doing this. I mean, it's really bringing me some joy and it's bringing me some happiness. So with saying that, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe right now. Follow me on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Facebook, all of these places. Follow me on all those platforms. Moose the Alpha, M O O Z T H E A L P H A on all platforms, man. This is the review, first look, and me being wrong about the Steel Gray Yeezy 350 V2. And I am out of here!